I'm doing a review for this book, Ulysses by James Joyce. If you're wondering why I haven't posted a book review for so long, it's because I've been reading this and it is very long. <laughs> this is the longest book I've ever read and it certainly was an odyssey to get through. Well, isn't this a strange book? Strange, I always thought so. Never been up to them though. Suppose they have to do it like that. There is just one example of the style of this book. Amazingly enough, I have been able to keep up with the book a lot of the time, although it doesn't suit my reading style or taste. Vaguely, this book follows the day of Stephen Dedalus and Leopold Bloom, although to say that it errs from its subjects would be an understatement. This book is long and it's going nowhere fast. There are conversations about this, long rambling side thoughts about that, and very little of actual interest as a story. Contemplations, evaluations, and a measure of stagnation. This book is successful at showing the day-to-day -day normality of life, which can be both mundane and existential at almost all times. It shows the rich complexity of bog-standard human life, as well as the unspoken delicacy of social interactions. It effectively shows the great depth and intensity of everyday life. It discusses taboo subjects with honest detail. Although for all the intense, minute examinations of life of an everyday life, I found the main characters unbelievable in all probability. There are a variety of elaborate literary styles used by Joyce for narration with a lot of ceremony given to different aspects of it, with passages wandering off in different directions with no relevance to the story. The book has an unusual writing style. It changes from first to third person and switches between different characters' points of view with no clarity. Words are dissected and run into each other or just made up. There is a lot of playing with language, sometimes for absolutely no purpose other than just the writer's enjoyment of it. All that doesn't bother me at all. My problem with this book is that I'm finding it a bit boring. I don't think anyone could describe it as exciting. There are also a lot of references which just go over my head, such as religious references, Irish history, books I haven't read, and a lot of, so a lot of social references which are outdated. If you're the right person who knows all the references, speaks all the languages of the quotes, is Irish, and can put up with a disjointed writing style, then it may well be an excellent, funny, even enlightening book for you. But that's a lot of ifs, and if you don't have them all, then I think that the chances are you'll be missing out on a lot of the supposed quality of the book. I'm in that category. At times, I felt that the book had a nice flow and rhythm to it, and when I sat and just read it, it was at least readable, if still irrelevant to the story. Of course, that makes the assumption that there is a story in there, but it just rambles off so many times and it left me thinking of what else I could be reading as I thought again, oh, here we go, off on another pointless ramble. Yes, let's list everything relevant, irrelevant and mildly humorous. Oh, look, here we go, off on another pointless ramble. It was novel the first few times, but now it's just a trial to get through. I don't recommend this book. It was a boring story written in an overcomplicated way which diverged from the point at every opportunity and it was just far too long. This book is so boring. It just goes on forever and it never gets interesting. Some of the spin-off yarns are clever and amusing but they're so difficult to keep a grip of. It's like trying to read the story off the back of an eel. As much as this book has pissed me off and it really has um, not least because two months after I started reading it, I was still reading it. Um, I can't help feeling that if I was an Irish man in the early 20th century, this book really could be the one. But I'm not, and it isn't. There were aspects that I honestly loved about this book. Intelligence, ability and wit, which, let's be honest, have fallen off the agenda of requirements in our society recently. But these benefits could not compensate for how much I hated the book. It was just too bloody long. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is no real storyline to speak of. 
just some events in some day, someone's day. Is that supposed to be the point? I don't know. I don't really care. It's boring. I'm not playing the Emperor's New Clothes with this thing. It's not all that. It goes on too long about absolutely nothing. Oh, but that's the point, dear. Fuck off. I have a life. I have other books that I want to read. Books that I will get much more out of for far less pages. Job done. Someone has described reading this book to me as an experience. I'd agree with that. For my final section of this review, I am channeling Joyce to give people an idea of the style or remind people who have read it. Disclaimer. Obs. I am not certain that I am in the same bracket as James Joyce. I have not perfected the art of bullshit to anywhere near his standards. This is merely an amateurish attempt. Do I think it's made me a better reader? Comprehensively? Inadequately? Has it made me a better writer? Although we share a date of birth, date of his death also, he is unlikely to find me of reciprocal interest enough to bequeath me his second, third or fourth best bed. Would I read any of Joyce's books again? Only with a gun to my head, a musket could draw me in, a glock and I'd take my chances. A glock can be dissembled and reassembled in 42 seconds when the performer is blindfolded, standard issue to the British RAF, training included, tests and retests provided. Have I read anything else like it? The predispositioned query would be better restructured as an optional arrangement of preference, prefaced with not undue consideration of requisite time allowed, unrequisite ability and prerequisite availability. Where do we go from here? Anywhere but here. Okay, thank you very much.